I'm going to go and live in another country where no one's going to know, and I can just play with all the willies that I want to, and no one's going to know. <laughs> Ahmed, well behaved. I, I was actually extremely well behaved, but then I don't know what happened to me because I had a family in Los Angeles. They all said, "Well, you can do O levels. Yeah. You could then go straight to university." So I thought I was going to go to UCLA, but I failed. So in my last term, I went crazy. I started chasing first years around on motorcycles. I used to run into the <laughs> staff room naked and play the piano. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was, what was, the, huh? what was, what was the turning point? <laughs> I was a really good kid, but yeah. I didn't think I was going to stay on for sixth form, so right. I thought I could just <laughs> around. And, um, but, like, sort of, literally Literally <laughs> around. And um, they, there were people daring me to do things. I just kept doing them. And we loved Monty Python, you know, when Terry Jones plays the piano. And the dare was to go in <laughs> naked, and uh, the piano was um, behind where the teachers were to go and play the piano, turn around and smile at them and run out again. <laughs> so when I didn't go to UCLA and I came back trying to grovel to get into sixth form, they said, no, you, you showed your hairy ass one too many times and we can't have you back. You're not a good example. <laughs> Catherine, is this what your school days were like? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I wouldn't have been friends with either of you. I was very much the kid in class who was like, some of us are trying to learn. <laughs> What sort of school was it? We're Set talking the scene. 600 girls in a Catholic school. It's also a convent. That's and why I... they put her in a convent, cos she constantly looked possessed. Exactly. They were hoping <laughs> to cure me. Also, I didn't have any friends, which I now realise is cos maybe no-one could see me, but um, I... <laughs> I was a very confident loner, that's what I would say. We've got a picture of you in school. In school, <laughs> there. school, there's, school there's the confident loner. Oh, May wow. I say, this was the last day of school, so the first time in maybe, like, 15 years that I untucked my shirt. I was a rule follower, my friend. Sugar Rush was a moment for you, I believe. Oh, my goodness. I remember there was a scene where um, she she used a toothbrush for something that wasn't brushing her teeth. Oh, my God. And... Brushing a minge. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that. I didn't get to speak out. I was, say thinking, out I was thinking, what's she doing? The sink? Is she cleaning her, cleaning her on the taps? <laughs> oh, that would also be sexy. Um, no, so yeah, it, it came out, and I remember it was a kind of television where I would creep downstairs, like, you know, when you'd hold your breath for fear that it'd be like you'd be heard going downstairs, and I would watch it this close to the television oh on the quietest setting, in, in case anybody were to figure out that I was awake downstairs breaking a rule, but more importantly, a lesbian. <laughs> I had my first kiss when I was almost 20, by the way. I was watching this as, like, oh. the most chaste... G I, it was wild to me. <laughs> Gay people would go through the same thing, because I used to sit with my hand on the... finger on the off button in my bedroom watching the Graham Norton. Yes! Show. And I'd be sat... And, I'd, I'd, and I went one step further just so I could hear... I'd, I wore headphones, <gasps> but just with one. You know, the, like, the big... Yes. Just with one on, and I'd sit like this with the door closed, and then after, straight after Graham Norton was your um, Euro Trash. Do you remember that? Yes. And it was, like... As a 13-year-old, yes. I was like, oh, my God, Willies. It was the first time I'd seen Willies on TV, and I was just like, oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> but always, you know, with the duvet, and then bump straight down, you know, if anyone had come up. But yeah, that, that's when I... And I also thought, am I gay? What's going on? If I am, I'm going to go and live in another country where no-one's going to know, and I can just play with all the Willies that I want to, and no-one's going to know. <laughs> <laughs>